audience may please be seated. On behalf of Mark and Beth and their families, welcome to this great occasion. Marriage being for life is not to be entered into lightly or on the spur of the moment. There is definitely no worry of that in this case. <laughs> they have known each other for some time. We are so happy for them and that they have come to this point in their relationship and in their lives. We know that God designed from the very beginning the entire plan for mankind. This part of His plan was introduced even before there was sin or evil in this world. There is no part of this design of God that is bad. It is only made for the good of mankind. Because they have decided together to do this, they enter in to one of the perfect divine institutions. Let's bow all together. Loving and gracious Father in heaven, we are so thankful to you for this day, the ease that we have in life and this chance right now to be together, to join in this time when Beth and Mark will exchange vows and rings and become husband and wife. We thank you for your plan, your design, our creation, and your love for us. That you would give us such a wonderful way, a vehicle to go through life. May we all take renewed hope in that plan as we watch them join together now in wedlock. May we encourage them. May you bless them in their new life together as they serve you and each other unselfishly and holy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Marriage is what brings us together today. God designed marriage to correctly and beautifully join together two of His children. That is the original design. Genesis reveals that marriage was instituted by God Himself in the Garden of Eden. And if we think about it, when Jesus quotes, Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, he gives it the second divine stamp of approval all those thousands of years later. We may all joke and kid about it, but the true fact is marriage is perfectly designed and suited for both the man and the woman. Perfectly designed by God. If both will follow God's design and unselfishly obey that plan, it will work perfectly. We don't at a wedding put the asterisk and the note at the bottom of the page that just like all of us, they are both humans. And we know what humans tend to fall into. But the plan is beautiful and so is it when we follow it. Problems in marriage are the result of our failure to follow faithfully God's plan, not in the design or function of it. It is beautiful and perfect in design. That means for them this morning that a couple can actually have a great married life together. It actually is possible. All the joys, comfort, fulfillment, partnership, aid, and support in the design of this beautiful union will be ours if we do our part. God's plan is perfect. With your intention to follow His plan, you can do it. Marriage is such a beautiful joining that God used it in Ephesians for the picture to show to us the church. Wouldn't it be great today if there were so many marriages like this one's going to be that the world would really appreciate the beauty of Christ in the church. They'll be able to help that. And all of us, the closer we stay to His plan, the easier we will make it on them as well. 
Mark and Beth, you two have that kind of a beautiful marriage ahead of you if you decide and implement God's plan. No matter what you see around you in the world, decide now, I am going, we are going to have a great one. Because no longer will it be two. It will not be I, and it will not be I. It will be we from now on. Who signs the check will be another point. All together. <laughs> Would you please join me? We are gathered together before this company of witnesses to join these two in holy matrimony. Do you, Mark Thomas West, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health? Do you vow to love, honor, cherish, and provide for her for as long as you both shall live. Do you, Elizabeth Dale Miller, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health? Do you vow to love, honor, cherish, and obey him for as long as you both shall live? Did you have the union sealed by the further gift of grace? Mark, with this ring, you do pledge forever your love and devotion to Beth. It will be a constant joyful reminder of that sacred love and devotion. you to pledge your lifelong love, lifelong love and devotion to Mark. It will be a constant joyful reminder of that sacred love and devotion. For as much then as these two have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this entire company and have pledged their lifelong devotion to each other and further sealed it with the giving and receiving of rings, we declare you are now husband and wife. What God has joined together, let not man put asunder. You may now kiss. Shabbat